Hi, my name is Aaron Eckhart, and this is my career in four minutes. I am like none other. I had done the play, although I had done the other character uh, in, the, in the play. I was the other character. We had no money for this movie. There was nobody working on the movie that was professional. I'll give you an example. You know, there's a three minute, four minute scene on top of a building, okay? So we're up there, we had been well rehearsed, and um, Neil comes to me and whispers in my ear, he says, Aaron, uh, he looks at the sun and he says, we have about 10 minutes of sun, he says, and we have 600 feet of film left. And he kind of taps me on the shoulder, he's like, all right, let's go. <laughs> and so basically, we got a three minute scene, which is very, very good scene in one take, two takes. You know, in the airport, one take, two takes. You know, on the bed, one take, two takes. You know, so. In, in that respect, it was like a play. Aaron Brockovich was um, Steven Soderbergh, who had just been off Sex, Lies, and Videotape at Sundance, as uh, in the Company of Men was, and um, asked me to be in Aaron Brockovich. Um, you know, I went up and met Julia and uh, liked her, and she thought I was okay, so uh, well, they put me in the movie. I mean, nobody, well, I certainly didn't know what Aaron Brockovich was gonna become. You know, it was sort of, a, it's a staple in people's, you know, um, sort of film, film lives, you know, it's so uh, um, known and a uh, great time working with Steven. Again, a great director, very calm, quiet, but sure. And working with Julia was uh, spectacular. It's smart, it's smart, satirical look, you know, at a lobbyist. And so you built in, you hate the guy, but then, you know, Jason, the director, and, you know, the story is telling us that you, you have to love him. You know, and so that's fun to play because you're playing against everybody, the audience, the whole time. You're saying things that are so um, outrageous, you know, but you're saying them in such a such a warm way that people don't know what to do with it. Um, I think probably of all my movies, that's the movie that around the world people appreciate the most. You know, they have a lot of fun watching it, and I feel like it's a movie that, you know, they feel like it talks to them, not you know down to them or. You know, it's a, it's a very smart movie. I remember Chris calling me into his office and talking to me, and then well, you know, meeting was basically over, and he said, you know, would you like to read the script and play um, Harvey Dent? I was like, <laughs> yeah, I would love that. You know, I've read it, and I mean, to for me, the box office, yes, all that sort of stuff is good, but uh, I think to have witnessed what Heath did with this character, to be around that to see his commitment to the part, to see the courage it took to um, actually manifest that part, you know, because it's, it's very difficult to be that into your character and that outrageous, you know, on set every single day in front of everybody. It takes a lot of courage, and, um, and so I was happy to be a part of that. Chris is, uh, Chris is the franchise. You know, I mean, it's, he's the writer, he's, he's, the, he's the conductor. He conceives, and so, uh, uh, I don't know that we'll ever get a series like that again. Some people, it's an alien movie. To me, it's a war movie. To me, because it was a lot of green screen and that, and you didn't see the aliens in that, to me, I, I never considered that there were even aliens in the movie. I thought the way that we filmed it with multiple cameras and live fire, not live bullets, but you know, actual, we weren't just you know, pointing our guns. It felt like I was at war. And I would look around me, and we filmed it in Louisiana. It was so hot that we were literally drained to our bones. And I would look around me and see the exhaustion on the other actors' faces and stuff, and I said, this is what it looks like. This is what, it, you know, obviously it feels different because we're not at war. But I felt like that to me was, you know, just something that I loved as an actor because as an actor, you're always, you're, you're thirsting for reality. You know, you don't want to have to act. You want to just be. And that to me was um, the closest in a sense that I've ever been to, you know, just being. It's always fun to learn a skill. You know, that's a great thing about movie making is that you have experts teaching you, whether it's science or cooking, you know, in those reservations, um, or whatever it is. In Battle Los Angeles, we were with Marines for six months. Um, you know, because you get to be a, an expert and with the experts, and so you feel like the real deal. It's cool.